This is a regular meeting of the Civil Service Commission. We'll call the meeting to order. May I have roll call, please? Chairperson Dolores Rodriguez. Present. Vice Chairperson Mario Liscano. Present. Board Member Vittorio Puente. Present. <clears throat> and we have a quorum. We'll go on to public uh, testimonies. Are there any public testimonies? None. If not, we'll go on to the regular agenda. Approval of minutes for November 29th, 2022. I make a motion that we accept the minutes presented for November 29th, 2022. I second that motion. I have a second and a, um, a motion and a second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And the minutes have been approved as presented. We'll go on to B. Consideration and action of any approving and accepting the raw and final scores from the promotional exam administered for sergeant for the police department on Friday, January 20th, 2023. Hi, good morning, uh, good morning. board members. Analia Alanis for the record. In your package, you do have the scores for the test administered on January 20th for the rank of sergeant. We did, did have 13 individuals come in and test and one, one uh, with a passing grade. So staff is recommending approval. Okay. I have a motion, commission. I make a motion we accept the Draw and final scores from the promotional exam administered. I have a motion. Do I hear a second? I second that motion. <clears throat> motion and a second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And this item is approved. We'll go on to item C, consideration and action. <clears throat> if any, approving and accepting the eligibility list for the promotional exam administered per sergeant for the police department on Friday, January 20th, 2023. Yes, this is the also same exam administered on January 20th for the rank of sergeant, and this is to create the eligibility list that will only have that one name on. A motion. I make a motion that we go ahead and approve and accept the eligibility list for the promotional exam. I have a motion. Do I hear a second? I second that motion. A motion and a second. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 The motion has been approved as presented. We'll go on to item D, consideration and action, if any, approving and accepting the raw and final scores from the promotional exam administered for lieutenant for the police department on Friday, January 20th, 2023. Uh, yes, board members in your packet, you also find the list. We had seven individuals come in and test for the rank of lieutenant with four passing. Okay, four. Commission. I make a motion, we go ahead and accept the um, uh, eligibility list and the promotion. The raw, raw and final. Sorry, the raw score. The raw scores. I second that motion. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 And this motion has been approved. <coughs> Accepted. <coughs> Go on to item E. Consideration and action, if any, approving and accepting the eligibility list from the promotional exam administered for lieutenant for the police department on Friday, January 20th. Yes, this item is to create the eligibility list with the four names on there for, for those individuals that passed on January 20th and staff is recommending approval. Okay. Make a motion we go with staff's uh, recommendation for eligibility list to be uh, approved and accepted. I have a motion on the floor. Do I hear a second? I second that motion. I have a motion and a second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And the motion is approved. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go on to administrative reports. Chief. Hi, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, Juan Gonzalez with the uh, police department. Just wanted to also uh, advise the board that we did have uh, one lieutenant uh, this last month that he, re or this month he retired from our department after 33 years, we tell him William Ryan. Uh, so that would create that uh, position for this one lieutenant that is scheduled. We do also have a uh, sergeant's exam that we're uh, going to post. And on the 27th is another exam that we're planning. And that's to have an eligibility, li uh, eligibility list that runs throughout the year uh, in case an event that uh, sergeants need it and that uh, we go off that test. Uh, as mentioned, the lieutenants, we have uh, four that pass. So uh, we'll use that list throughout the year as well if needed. Wanted to provide an update. We do have uh, eight 
uh, nine police officers that are on our training program right now. Uh, the, we had eight cadets that uh, pretty much started at the beginning of last month and toward this month. So they're in the training phases right now. And then we have one uh, officer, Dalma, who started with us as well this month, and she's also in the training program. So you will be seeing uh, trainings throughout for, for the next maybe three to four months. You may see uh, some police officers doubled up, and that's the reason they're, they are uh, training throughout, throughout the month. And we're, we're still going off our current eligibility list for the hiring, uh, and we're looking uh, to continue with that list until we exhaust it and hopefully bring on board uh, some more uh, certified police officers within uh, the next uh, few months here. So that is my report. Do you have any questions? Any questions from the commission? For the chief? No. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> any other administrative reports? Chief Police. No. Pilar Rodriguez, Fire Chief. Uh, we had we uh, had four retirees um, in the fire department. We had three lieutenants uh, and uh, one driver that retired. Uh, one lieutenant retired last Friday. Uh, one lieutenant retired uh, Saturday morning. We had the driver retire Saturday morning, and the uh, third lieutenant is scheduled to retire on uh, February the 17th, 18th, excuse me, uh, or 17th, rather. So that is going to create a trickle-down effect. We're going to exhaust our lieutenant's eligibility list. We're going to exhaust our our um, driver or engineer eligibility list. And then, of course, we're going to exhaust our firefighter list. So we'll be testing for all those positions in the next uh, several months and, and coming back to the board with uh, new uh, eligibility lists. That's all I have to report. Thank you. Any questions for the chief? No. no just Thank one, you, chief. Yeah, one, one comment. All of our uh, lieutenants retired with uh, 35, two of them with 35 and one with 36 years of service. So they were long serving uh, members of the fire department. Thank you. Civil service directors to report. <laughs> chief, you just came up. <laughs> yes. yes uh, good morning for the record. Good. Joel Robles, Assistant Chief of Police for the Park Police Department. Hey, just, just wanted to let you guys know uh, part of our ongoing efforts to be innovative at, at the Park Police Department. In the past, our training program was always handwritten. We had packets and packets and packets of paperwork that we would do to keep uh, the documentation on our uh, probationary officers. Uh, this past year, we did an investment and we purchased a uh, electronic format field training officer uh, platform. So uh, no, gone are the days where we would put everything on paper. Now everything's electronically. Hopefully the next meeting will present a, a, a report to you guys on, on how that's going. But for now, the, the training officers love it. It's so much easier. They can do everything out on the field. Uh, it just uh, it, 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 it transitions to the electronic platform that we have right now in our vehicles. So uh, it'll, it'll expedite, speed up, and get us much quicker reports on our probationary police officers so that we can present to you guys. But thank you very much for allowing me to speak. Awesome. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. Well, no, it's uh, one one of the items that 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 I've I've always been an advocate for is uh, youth sports. Our Parks and Rec department has an awesome uh, sixth grade football campaign, and what they do, Commission, is that they they invite schools from McAllen, schools from San Juan, schools from Alamo, and of course our far schools. They create a league, and you know from there. Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate that they allow me to coach and and uh, <laughs> my my team won the championship. So they invited me to be the coach for the all star program. So the Parks and Rec Department, what they did is they did a tournament, Edinburgh, Rio Grande City, San Juan and FAR. So I get to coach that team. We've played uh, two games already and uh, we've done very well. Uh, both games we have won 46 to zero. So the FARS oh. finest, and, and part of the things that we do commission is that through our, our ceased asset program, the police department buys the jerseys for the teams. Oh, so of course it has our little patch showing uh, that, you know, the sponsorship is done by the police department and of course our team FAR logo. But uh, Monday uh, the 6th, um, I think you guys should be back by then. 
Monday the 6th will be our last game. We're going to be playing San Juan at uh, Edinburgh Stadium. I think it's Richard Flores Stadium, oh, the okay. former Cat Stadium, yes, yes. at uh, 6.30 p.m. If you all have time, we'd love to see you guys there. But it's just more efforts that the police department does to give back to our community and create that bridge and partnerships with our community. Thank you for representing us. Thank you. Any questions? Thank, Thank you. you, Chief. We'll go on to item five, civil service. <clears throat> Morning. Well, two of the items I was going to report on have already been reported. I was going to report the retirements with the fire department and the police department. We did lose over 100 years of service and experience wow. with the with the members retiring, but we're happy for them because that's, you know, that that's a goal. We work and one day re reach retirement and go and, you know, enjoy life. So we will be busy doing some of the testing as uh, Chief uh, Rodriguez mentioned Pete, uh, for Fire Department will be testing for Lieutenant Engineer on Friday the 24th. And we already have a PD scheduled test as well for Sergeant for the 20 on Monday the 27th. Um, so B will be busy. She helps me tremendously with the okay. testing. She really takes care of mostly all the testing efforts. Um, and then also some of some of you guys will be attending the Texas Peldra um, Civil Service Seminar. This uh, next couple of days, we'll have also representation from the fire department and the police department going out there. Human resources will also be there. So I hope you guys go and learn a lot, network, make sure you take business cards so you can share with um, other individuals and make more friends out there and bring us any information that may be of use to us. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any thank questions? You. Thank you. <clears throat> We're going to item six, civil service comments. None. I just want to make sure that we um, we make public and, and acknowledge our our first responders. We did have first responders day and we also had uh, national law enforcement um, awareness day. Those are days that we set aside for all our public servants that are uh, going above and beyond protecting you know life and property and our homes and and our communities. So I just want to make sure to thank them publicly for all their efforts and um, it says a lot for our city when our firefighters have dedicated so much of their uh, service lives um, to to their their profession so you know we we always see great things and we're we're glad the opportunity comes in for our new leadership to to be coming in but um, uh, I want to wish those that are retiring well and to thank them for all the service years they did and um, to let them know that we acknowledge that and, and we will continue to support our public servants. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? No comments? <clears throat> we'll go on to item uh, seven, nothing in the closed session. So we'll go on to item nine. German, do I hear a motion? I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting at 9.14 a.m. I second that motion. A motion and a second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And this meeting is adjourned, time being 9 14. Thank you, gentlemen.